All right, guys, what is up? This video is about how to cold email businesses to land some web design projects when you're in the portfolio stage. When you're starting, you don't have experience, you don't have things that you can show clients, but you want to land deals so you can get experience, so you do have things to show other clients. So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to cold email a business when you basically just started web design and still land a project. That's what we're going to cover in this video. With this video, there's some templates and some guides to use, so check out the first link down below. And also it is part of a bigger challenge. If you want to check out that full challenge, again, just check out the links. I'll have it explained down below. So let's get into it right away. I'm gonna show you how to cold email a business, how to land a web design project with absolutely no experience. Okay, so the question we're gonna answer in this video is how do you get working with a real business when you got no past results, you got no portfolio, you got no track record, and you're quite new to web design. So maybe you just started or you've been practicing for a little while, but you've never worked with any real clients. What I'm going to show you is some really, really simple principles, but if you understand how they work, it's going to drastically improve the results that you're getting when you start prospecting and reaching out to these businesses. You're going to be able to land some real deals in a very short amount of time if you put this stuff into use. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is my simplified theory on what it takes to sell. If you understand this little triangle here, you're going to start getting sales in a big way. There's three different points. There's trust, sales skills, and your pitch. These three things give you the ability to sell consistently at a high price to the sort of clients that you want. So let's break it down. Trust is where you want to start, and I'll explain why in a moment, but trust is about people trusting you, trusting your business, trusting the results that you've gotten in the past when you helped other people, trusting that you're able to deliver on what it is that you're promising. The more trust you have, the easier it is to sell, and if you don't have trust, it's very, very, very hard to sell. The next thing with this triangle is sales skills. Sales skills is your technical ability to sell. And sometimes people don't see sales as a skill. They just see it as something that happens when their business is offering something at a good price and they've helped other people. They think that it's just going to sell. That is not the case. Sales skills, like learning a musical instrument, like learning a sport, it's a technical skill that you can learn. But sales skills does require that you need other things. And in particular, you need trust and you need a good pitch. So we'll get back to that in a second. The third thing is pitch. Pitch is the actual thing that you're selling, what it is that you're offering, the price that you're offering it at, what it is. You know, is it a one-page website? Is it two weeks that you're going to work on a project? Is it a four-hour job? Is it installing something? Is it fixing an issue that they have? So whatever it is that you're offering, that is your pitch. It's what you're going to provide or it's what you're going to do. That is the deal. And it's different from sales skills because we could be selling the exact same thing. Maybe we're both selling a $500 laptop, but you have a way better ability than I do to sell that. So that is sales skills, but we're both offering the same thing. Or maybe we both have the same sales ability, but one of us has a much better deal. And then trust as well ties into that. Trust being, of course, how much people trust in the product, in us, in our business, in our ability to back up whatever it is that we're saying. So if you wanna ever sell websites at a high price, you're gonna to have to start somewhere on this triangle. Even if you don't know about this triangle, you're still gonna be starting in one of these directions. You're either gonna be focusing on your sales skills, you're gonna be focusing on your pitch, or if you know about it, and now that you do with this challenge, you'll be focusing on your trust. And now a lot of people, and this is where they go wrong, they focus not on trust, but on their sales ability, or their pitch in the very, very beginning. And I'll explain why this does not go well. So let's take the first group of people that just focus on their sales skills. So they just started web design, they don't have any track record, they don't have any portfolio, but they think, hey, I'm gonna go straight into selling, I'm gonna get better at selling, and that's gonna fix this problem. So they read a few books, they watch a few YouTube videos, one or two podcasts or whatever, and then they go right into selling, they're doing tons of cold prospecting, they're sending on these emails, but they're not getting any results. Why? It doesn't matter so much about their pitch. What matters is that they don't have trust. They're contacting these businesses. The businesses see what they're saying, but they don't see any proof of them being able to deliver on what they're saying. So they see the deal, they hear the sales pitch, they read the email, but they look at it and they go, I don't know, I just, I don't trust this person. I don't know who they are. I don't know if they can do any of this stuff, whatever. And they just move on. So that is where the salespeople go wrong. Now, there's nothing wrong with sales skills and learning sales skills once you have trust built up. And I'm all about learning sales skills, but you gotta have trust first. Now, the other group of people that go wrong, they just focus on the pitch. 
So they think, hey, my sales skills is good enough, or I'm not going to worry about sales. I'm just going to price this really effectively. So those people start off, and maybe they start offering like a really, really massive big deal, like they're going to work for a full month for $100. So maybe they make some progress because their pitch is so ridiculously good. It's way underpriced for them that businesses are like, yeah, sure, this person's going to work like a dog for weeks for next to nothing, so I'll pay him. So there's people think they're making some progress, but a few weeks or a few months or maybe even a few years go by and they just can't increase their prices. And they're like, I don't know why this is. I can sell websites at $200 all the time or $500, but I can never get to $1,000. Why that is, is they're basically stuck because they never develop sales skills and they definitely don't have trust. Now you might ask why they don't have trust if they've done all these projects, because they haven't done the right sort of projects for the right sort of people getting the right sort of results. So people think just because they've been doing it for a long time that people are going to trust them to pay them a high price. That isn't the case. They need to see that you can deliver big results. That is the form of trust that they're looking for. You could have someone doing web design in three months who's gotten massive, massive results for their clients. And you have someone doing it for 10 years who's never got that great of results. Businesses are going to trust the person more who's been doing it for three months because they're looking at their ability to get real results. That is what matters to them. They don't care how long you've been doing web design. They care that the website that you build them does something for the business, that it brings in sales, that it fixes problems, that it produces results that they want. Okay, so how do you get started with all of this? Let me break it down as simple as possible. There's a really easy system to do this once you understand how it works. You're going to reach out to people who already trust you, not because of your web design business, but just who you are as a person. If you don't know how to do that, check out the guide below. It is the first link in the description. I have a full thing written up on how to do this. But there's certain people out there right now, business owners, who will be more likely to trust you than other people, just based on who you are, where you're located, your background, your experience, your passions, your interest, who you are as a person, who you know as a person, those sort of things. You can use that base level of trust to get in there and connect with business owners. Now, since we're focusing on building up our levels of trust first, we don't need to also be working on our sales skills and also trying to land these big deals right away. So what we do is we keep it a really simple sales pitch. We make a very simple deal and we just focus on getting the trust built up first. When we get the trust high, then we can get into learning how to sell. Then we can start increasing the scope of our project and the prices that we're gonna charge and the services that we're gonna offer. The place to start is with trust first. So what you're going to do is check out the guide below. You're going to look for people who already trust you as a person and you're very simply going to connect with those people, not even trying to sell in the beginning. You're just trying to make contact, get them to respond first. And then when they do respond, and I'll cover this in the next video, then you start making a very, very simple deal. This isn't advanced selling at this stage. We're not trying to get $2,000 right away. We're just trying to get going with a very, very simple, low risk project for these people. We do those projects, we get real results. I'll show you how to do that as well. When we have those results, then we have a great level of trust to then start learning how to sell and increasing our prices. So the place to start is checking out that guide below, reaching out to some business owners, just getting them to respond. And then in the next video, I'll show you where to take it from there. Basically, you're gonna meet this person in person or have a phone call or just back and forth with emails and you're gonna let them know, hey, I wanna help your business. It's really low risk to you. I see that you could be getting better results with a better website. I wanna build you something simple right away in a very short amount of time, no cost to you or very, very cheap. Here's the deal. Do you wanna go ahead and let me try to help you in this way? That is basically what you're gonna do. I know that's very short. I'm gonna cover it in a future video, but for right now, just check out the guide, download those, get connected with business owners, get some responses, and then we can take it from there. That is the first stage. You're not trying to sell right now. You're not trying to create this massive big deal right away. Just get in with some people that already trust you for who you are, and that is definitely the best first step to getting as fast as possible to these big profitable web design deals. All right, cool, so that is it for this video. I hope that it makes it really, really simple and easy to go ahead and start contacting these businesses. What I'm gonna do is in the very next video on this channel, I'm gonna show you how to make that deal with this person. It doesn't necessarily have to be free. You can also do it for a certain price, but I'm gonna show you how to negotiate that deal and how to do what's best for you. 
and the person, the business that you're working with. So check out that next video. Any questions though, in the meantime, just let me know in the comments. If you like this video, give it a like or whatever, share it with some friends. I appreciate that sort of stuff. So that is it. Catch you in the next video.